Greetings and welcome back. I'm Flop and this is Hex, a digital only uh, trading card game, much like Magic the Gathering, except digital. And um, we are in a constructed deck, uh, no, 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 sorry, <clears throat> a booster draft tournament. I get a free tournament uh, every week thanks to my Kickstarter backing level. And uh, why not record them all? So let's see how good this Ashwood Soloist is. It is going to give him an extra mana when it attacks, and he can play it early. Maybe I was a fool to not bring mine. Um, uh, he has a lot of the cards that we have. So if I'm correct, this has, yeah, can't be blocked by troops with less power than it. Okay, Fiery Indignation. We are red and blue. He may be pure red. We're going to play Revere Basher. It's 0-3. It gains one attack power for each attacking troop. Um, if you're familiar with Magic the Gathering at all, then the rules of this will be pretty pretty easy to understand. Um, one of the interesting things about resources is when played, they increase your resource pool size, and they give you a threshold um, point. So he went red-green. Um, here you can see this has a threshold level of one red. <laughs> so as long as we have one red, um, we're going to come and block. We're going to block that. And maybe he's going to crush us with some green buff. But it looks like no. We just saved ourselves a little bit of damage. Elf Ranger. He uses his ability to gain uh, one extra resource. And he's going to tear us down slowly with his Ember Tears. We take three damage and then... Uh, at the start of his turn, we take one more damage, so it is counting down. He used the soloist and his own personal ability to pump it up. Uh, this is a mixed color champion. Interesting, I didn't realize those existed. So, most likely, we are about to get just completely schooled. But uh, one can hope that we, we do not. All right, we've got three energy and one thing to cast. We might as well wait. We'll be able basher. We'll use for defense. We don't, can't afford to be picked apart by this guy. We've got a nice little two mana, two damage in our hand. If we control an expensive thing, it becomes five damage. It only works on troops, but that's fine. Um, we might be able to use it to counter the shift where you can move this can't be blocked ability to another creature um, So then he will lose the ability uh, they can only attempt that once uh, Or we can save ourselves some damage by killing it before it attacks Declaring combat um, Let's Oh, that's a basic action, so we actually have to take it. That's why that's so good. All right. The next troop in his deck gets plus two, plus two. We don't know what it is. He doesn't know what it is. Okay, we are, let's play Let's play that. The next uh, action in our deck, which is basically spell, 
He's got one mana. That's enough to shift. Let's go ahead and kill that. Um, so he can't use it to boost his mana anymore. We could attack, but I'm not feeling it. We're going to want to cast Incubation Webs on this 3-3. We might let it eat our Thunderfield Seer, who's not too terribly potent at this point. We are getting eaten up a bit here health-wise by this Death Mask Assailant. Uh, yeah, so I'm not too experienced with Hex or with uh, Constructed Tournaments. That thing comes into play. That sucks. 2-3. When this enters play, create a Wild Shard and put it into play. Allegiance. This power is active while you have another troop of the bolded characteristic in your hand in play. Alright, so that's annoying. He will be upping his uh, mana threshold, I mean resource threshold. Okay, we can finally cast interesting things. It's time to cast Incubation Web on that. Not gonna be enough to save our butts, uh, but that's how it goes. His deck probably better designed than ours. We did get his, we lucked out and ended up with a Spiderling thanks to complete randomness the chances that he actually drew that thing I just want to see how it draws Let's go ahead and concede here. No point in drawing that out. Battle, only available in battle. I just wanted to talk to Well, let's pick a little portrait for us. Oh, we have to play another game. Uh, anything we want to take out to put in something better. Let's take that out, put in this Ashwood Soloist that he made such good use of. Uh, save our deck and go. All right, we get the coin flip to see who goes first. We'll choose to play first. We apologize for being awful. Um, we got a decent amount of mana and something we can play on the first turn. Opponent mulliganed. Maybe I shouldn't have stuck with the hand I did. We'll see. Uh, also, I am sanguine in this game, uh, and at all times, really. Um, what is my, what is the name of my keep? Okay. 
Okay, let's just go ahead and burn this thing. A little preemptive, I know. But we'll go ahead and pop him. Because we don't want it to help out this turn. I collected quite a few of them. Okay, we'll go ahead and attack. He wants to trade. That'll be fine. Lance attacks plus one for each attacking troop. If he attacks us now, we can trade for his Ashwood Soloist, um, or we can just focus on attacking with the Basher, as uh, it will be 3-3 three, three if we attack with all our troops. Um, he can kind of lower that, but it's pretty good for a cheap troop. Let's go ahead and limit his options since that's what we did with our um, fiery indignation. He may be choosing whether to save his life and expend a buff to take out my 1-1. One, one. Uh, or he may not. Possibly he's just ruining his decision thinking that I would focus on keeping troops around for my basher. Ah, yes, so he used up a lunge just to save this thing's life. He is counting on keeping it around, so I would love to burn it. Oh, and he didn't use the mana. Okay, we're going to go ahead and... Take him down then. If he keeps attacking us, he'll keep opening himself up to damage. I think he's low on mana. Uh, so next turn, I may actually save my Thunder... Thunderhead? Thunderfield. Mm, that made me the mana he needed. I am loaded with mana. Too much mana. Need more other things. We're keeping about the same time clock. Uh, which is good. We're making our decisions nice and snappy. Okay, that thing, kind of brutal right now. Give me something good, deck. I don't know if that really counts. Hmm. We could probably bluff him into giving us... damage. Oh, let's skip it. Okay, unfortunately that 3-3 kind of stalls out my game here. These guys are cheap, but they can't hold. Um, yeah, we, we are kind of chumps, unfortunately, for this tournament. Uh, my deck was not cohesively conceived, nor did I have a good idea of what is in the set. So that puts us at a serious disadvantage against anyone who does have an idea of what cards might come up and what powers are at play. So he's going to attack with just that because he needs a soloist, which means we want to keep someone around to kill a soloist. Uh, we can actually deal four damage with our bashers. And presumably he won't block, unless he saved this to block, um, which seems unlikely. Okay, we have way too much mana. Okay. 
Okay, so we can win this race. Remember that his next creature is going to be plus two, plus two, which is pretty significant. Ooh, nice play. Oh, gross. That is going to wreck me. Uh, but that is fine. Oh, I see. He's saving the Ashwood thingamajigger. Because he needs it to pay for that. Pretty cool creature now that I think about it. Um, a 1-1 one, one that gives you a temporary resource point to spin that turn after it attacks. So he's got to be a little careful, it looks like. Um, we should hope for anything that's not mana. He obviously got too little. We got a little too much. <clears throat> Prophecy is an interesting ability. The next card of a specific type gets something. So you're guaranteed to get the benefits whenever one of those pops up. Uh, because his is significantly better, simply because uh, you go really creature heavy in uh, the 40 card deck, 40 card drafter booster deck. Okay, we'll take it. He'll have to eat our combat damage if he wants to cast that rather expensive creature. Oh, that'll give him an extra point. <laughs> this is bad news. We cannot block that. It is a 6-7. Um, we, need, we need one of our spider things. No. We are screwed. I guess we'll just have to pretend like we got something good. Making nervous by keeping something in our hand, but he really doesn't have much choice besides to attack, uh, so we're not able to bluff him very well at all. Duplicate Duke. Duplicitous Duke. Start your combat phase. This gets must attack. Create a copy of this and put it into play. It gets speed and when combat ends, void this. Okay, I'm really curious to see how this works. So it'll make an identical copy which must attack. Jeez. Jeez. That is crazy. That's awesome. All right, he's being a good sport. He is going to eliminate us, and then we won't have to worry about the tournament anymore. All right, so he rocked us fair and square with an excellent deck. I hope he goes on to win. Uh, we are so dead. It's just waiting on him, probably because we typed at him. He may be a slow typer. But as you can tell, uh, we got in like nine damage the whole game. He got in like 40. For the win. I want to give him uh, I believe we are kicked out then is that true
let me see, single elimination. Yeah. So we should be done. Uh, top four are the only ones who get anything good out of this, which is fine with me. I just wanted to hop into a tournament and start recording. Um, yeah, eliminated round one. Uh, we did really bad. We do get to keep all the cards that I just got, which is cool. And uh, we could do some more drafts later uh, now that we're more familiar with it. But uh, yeah, the next tournament I can do looks like I'll be getting a tournament. Uh, all right, we're going to leave. Let's go to our inventory. Next VIP booster arrives on the 10th of December. What is that? Next Thursday uh, at 8.37 p.m. So, yeah, really, uh, probably next Friday is when we will get a chance to play. Uh, if uh, you are a Hex player and you want to hang out, um, you want to talk, you want to send me some videos, like anything, uh, please feel free. Uh, but for this episode, that is it. You see us get crushed in Hex. I will uh, see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more Hex stuff, uh, you can like and subscribe. Uh, I am opening a our own YouTube channel with Levy. Levy and I are going to open a YouTube channel January 4th. Um, Leak House. Uh, I'm going to leave this channel. And uh, it's going to be awesome. So you should catch that. And if you're interested at all in Darkest Dungeon or our live stream, uh, we'll be doing a Darkest Dungeon live stream on December 22nd, the longest night, uh, the darkest day of the year, the winter solstice, uh, from, I'm not sure, I think it, oh, from 2 p.m. until bust. And we're going to pick up where we left off on the other Darkest Dungeon live stream. Plus, there's been new updates, like a new class, the Abomination and some changes to heart attacks and other stuff. So that's it for now. Take care. And until next time, remember, it's all downhill from here.